right now. All right. Last last subject, right? This 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 the last subject, and then I'm gonna work on wrapping up the slide. Um, and these two subjects tie into each other, so just bear with me, right? Now, big big news. Shout out to Boxer, shout out to Ben Shalom and the fine folks there. They they made a big a play in boxing today. I don't know if y'all heard, but it was announced and it was reported that Boxer and Ben Shalom they have uh acquired and 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 they have announced they have announced a TV deal with NBC Sports here in America, which is which is very big because now this this increases their global reach. Um, NBC Sports, you know, uh, they have they have a lot of their uh, content on the uh, the very popular and highly acclaimed Peacock app. I, I, I don't know if any of y'all got the Peacock app, but the Peacock app has a lot of uh, programming. You know, like uh, they got the English Premier League. They got um. A lot of a lot of top you know sport sports uh, programming on there. So the fact that Box is going to be on NBC Sports and the and the Peacock app, it, it, it's very big, and it's gonna it, it's gonna start this weekend. It's gonna start this weekend with um the the Dan Aziz versus Joshua Boatsy fight. So now the British fighters and the boxer fighters they're gonna have the chance to get more marketability here in the states. Um. Yeah, see, they got they got they got they got Sunday night football. They got the Olympics. They got the Premier League. They got um, Big Ten football, Notre Dame football, NASCAR. So that being said, this is a huge win for Ben Shalom. This is a huge win for uh, the British fighters that are signed to him, or, or and any fighters that are signed to him, because uh, again, you could, you're, you're only going to have so much visibility when it comes to having your fights on Sky Sports. Now they're going to have an American presence, so. Don't be surprised if if the fine folks at Boxer start snatching up some American fighters because now they're going to have legitimate pull here in the States. I would actually venture to say that, you know, signing a Boxer now is just as valuable as signing with any promotional company in boxing just due to this deal. I mean, the zone, like I would actually say now with this, signing a Boxer might even be better than signing with like Eddie Hearn because – Eddie Hearn's on the zone, and I know that the zone doesn't have the same subscriber base or visibility that, you know, let's just say NBC Sports and the Peacock app have. So it's going to be something special um, uh, and good. Uh, good for Ben Shalom, good for Boxer. I know Ben Shalom has been under, under a lot of criticism because they they haven't been able to really put together the best cards this year. It's been a bit of a down year for Boxer in comparison to their great 2022 they had. Um, but this is a great way to go into 2024. So it, it, it it's it's kind of like part of this whole great reset, the great reset of boxing programming that's happening in our sport right now. You have this that's happened. You have, you know, Showtime. Apparently, it's not going to renew the contract at PBC. And now there's rumors about what P, what's going to happen with PBC. Now, that's the perfect segue. This is all this all leads into the perfect segue of what's going to happen with PBC because – I saw this tweet. I, I saw this tweet from Andre Berto today, right? And he said, "I quote: Al Heyman's a bad man. Stay tuned." Now, Andre Berto is very close to Al Heyman. He was one of, if not the first, fighter that was ever signed and represented by Al Heyman. Um, one of the first. I don't, I don't know if he was the first guy. I think he had Vernon Forrest and Paul Williams, but he's one of the first guys, right? Now, when he says that, you gotta kind of like raise your eyebrows and take heed to what he's saying because that means something's in the works. And there's already been rumors, and people have have already been suspecting something being in the works between PBC, Al Heyman, and other you know boxing programming entities, right? And one of the rumors we've heard is that PBC might be landing on Amazon Prime. Now. If this is true, if PBC is going to be on Amazon Prime, as you can see right here, the uh, Pro Box wrote a great article about this whole uh, rumor reports. Uh, Chris Mannix was the first one to report on this on his podcast, and he said that pretty much, look, Amazon Prime, Al Heyman, Premier Boxing Champions, that's going to be the route they're going to go. Um, now, Amazon Prime, for those that don't know, they're very familiar with boxing. Let me let me let me go full screen to show you guys this. Look, let me go full screen to show you guys this. Amazon Prime is very familiar with boxing, and you're gonna say, BT, how do you know that Amazon Prime is familiar with boxing? Well, look, I got this program right here. So this is a program from earlier in the year. This 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 from back in April. This is a 
from the Ken Shiro fight when he fought Anthony Olas Kuwaga and Tension as a Cowboys pro debut. And then uh was it uh, Rhea A versus Fernando Martinez? You had uh Jin Saki versus Keita Obra. Uh Amazon Prime has already had multiple boxing cards in Japan. So Amazon Prime is familiar with boxing. Um and it won't be that much of an adjustment for boxing to be on Amazon Prime, um, you know. And, and 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 do you do you guys know? Do you guys know who the first fighter to fight on Amazon Prime was? Do you, do, do you know who Al Heyman and, and PBC are following in the footsteps of? You guessed it right. The real face of boxing, the monster, Nayoa Inouye. Um, Donaire and Inouye fought last summer. Last summer they fought on um, Amazon Prime for the rematch when Inoue knocked his ass out in two rounds. So listen, when you want to be the best, you got to go where the best are. And um, Nayoa Inoue is is arguably the best in the sport. He's definitely one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport. He set the tone for boxing fighting on Amazon Prime. So they're trying to they're trying to go where the real face of boxing is at. But jokes aside. It'd be a big, it would be a big win for PBC and Am and uh, Al Heyman because, as you guys can see, the Amazon Prime subscriber base is massive. I mean, I don't have Amazon Prime personally, but I know truckloads of people who have Amazon Prime. Um, they got over two hundred million uh, members. So, I mean, if you get if you're getting even ten percent of the audience, which they probably won't, but if you're getting ten percent, that's like twenty million viewers. And there's nobody in boxing who's getting twenty million views. So um, listen, I, I'm not rooting against Al Heyman. A lot of people think I'm an Al Heyman PBC hater. Um, I hope, I, I hope it, I hope it winds up being true because it'd be great for the sport. I think, um, there was some mismanagement from Al Heyman early on in the PBC days with the whole, like, um, with the whole way they, they went about spending the, the Wild and Reed hedge fund money. You know, they were, they were overpaying guys for mismatches. And now they gotta really put out a more legitimate, sustainable product. And um, you know that's uh, that going on Amazon Prime would allow them to be more sustainable because they they have they, they, Amazon Prime ain't, ain't gonna fuck around, all right? They, they gotta put on some good fights to have a bigger subscriber base to do it. And you know it's just it's just part of the great boxing reset that's going on. So make of that what you will. Um, QT says, remember Lena LLB laughing about boxing being on an app? Yes, I do. Uh, I remember Lena talking a whole, a whole lot of shit about boxing being on an app, but it's funny. It's funny how money can change a situation, like the great Lauren Hill said. You know, a couple of years and, and that money dry up, and then, and then you start talking and acting differently. All of a sudden, Floyd's on an app. You know, Oscar's on an app. Eddie's on an app. You know, Al Heyman's on an app. Everyone's on an app. So, just how it's just how life works. That's why you gotta always keep them feet on the ground and, and remain humble because you never know when that when, when you can contradict yourself. You know, El Jefe says 